Alright, how's it going everybody? Here's the uh, stream I said maybe I do, maybe I wouldn't. Let's uh, flip over here. Get in our game. Everything looks visible. Uh, we are playing American Truck Simulator. I haven't played it in quite a while, so... Anyone new who pops in be the first time you've seen me play it. It's been several months, but a different setup. We had to push the laptop back a bit where the mic is so I could use that second monitor I look at to like look right forward at the wheel with my pedal and shifters and whatnot. So first thing we are going to do we need to end up at this dealership. We have to modify my good old Freightliner just a little bit. I haven't played this game in months, so I'm looking forward to it. Let's wait for it to load. There we go. Okay, here we go. Pump the brake. I don't want it rolling backwards on me while we start her up. Let's see. I right, guess I gotta remember what I mapped everything to. Let's swing it around this way. GPS will tell us where to go, but it looks like it looks like it was just a couple of right turns we have to make. Let's see, I can't really see that way. Can we risk inching it over just a little bit? Yeah, it's clear. Turn right. Then turn right. Turn right. Oh, watch me make that right, not go straight forward. That was just fine. I haven't been down this road before, so we can map this road out. Turn left. Like we're clear here. Let's swing this way. Speed limit's Get 25. Let's right. keep an eye on that. Turn right. Let's see what we got going on. Recenter that. Go straight on. I mean, we'll see where we're driving, right? I just wait at this red light. Here we go. And our first stop of the trip. Is just up ahead on our left. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Here we are. Oh, that's a little closer than I would have liked to that. Alright, let's swing in here. Service shop. Come up here. And we have rejoined Viva Trucking. So we're going to. 
Get our good old Viva trucking skin. I haven't used this in like six months. All right, now we gotta find a load we can carry out of here. Right now we're in Tucson. Let's sort by job payout. It'll probably give us a really long job, but let's do it. Oh, nope, I lost. I'm trying to fucking right click. There we go. Tucson to Astoria. Looks like we're going to pop up to Phoenix, take the 10 into the 5. That's basically a straight shot up north to uh, discover a city that up here I haven't discovered because it doesn't light up like these ones. Alright, so that's a little bit of a haul. Let's, let's do it. Uh, I should have... Uh, we want to do click that we need this information up here and this information for logging it for XP on the uh, site so we can rank up with the company because I'm starting out as a new trucker once again since I rejoined them all right let's uh come back over here Time to hit the road. Here, start it up. Junior, I was at a train coming that way, but. That's no issue for us, we're not going that way. There's that one with my lights. That one's my wipers, yeah. I gotta, right. gotta remember what all I mapped onto this controller to do and what I need the pad for. Yeah, there's my cruise, so we can lock in and just keep 25 all the way down. Get ready to turn left. There you go, engine brake right there. Actually, we want to keep going. Turn don't, left. Don't come to a full stop. Oh, we're not. Oh, yeah, we weren't gonna make that. So we just sit and wait. Got a little too aggressive on the acceleration. We're creeping up past what we should be for this kind of road. Go, I'm passing, jackass. I got the uh, path. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. This is where it ends. Let's hit enter, freight market. Now we have to uh, accept the job we were routed to. 31,000 pounds of televisions. Well, they want to swing around this way for it. We 
Which one's ours? This one on the end is ours. Or let's just uh, turn it around. the wrong way. Still have advanced trailer coupling on. Let's see if I can catch that kingpin in one hit like before. Now nah, I'm off a bit. Get this way a bit. this in a while so a little bit rusty I'm backing up and catching the uh, pin on a trailer not that I was great at it to begin with there we go let's bring our window back up so we can hear ourselves sink Actually, before we roll out, get a quick drink of water. And we should be good to go. Should have just enough clearance there. Just enough. And we have to make a left out of here. We're not looking for a job offer, we just got a trailer that we're taking with us. Clear that way. Do have a decent bit of traffic swinging through this way though. Clear that way. After the pickup, if we're still... But we're not gonna make that. Clear that way. Clear that way. Looks like. Turn left. Looks like we can go just about now, though. Be a shame to damage my first load back as a company driver, wouldn't it? Ready to turn right. Let's bring it this way. Really hated those turn sharp right. bends right here like that. Keep right and then turn right. Arizona, right. we can. Right turn on red, that's no problem. I always gotta get this thing up to speed on the freeway. Should 
shouldn't be too much of a problem for this baby though. It is a pretty good truck. Clear left. Just got to uh, get up to 65 and lock the cruise control in. Well, the route advisor and the uh, GPS down there next to my camera says the speed limit is 75, but I turned on the uh, truck limiter, so it caps me out at 65 as if this thing had a governor like some of those company trucks can have. swerving because I'm reaching around for stuff. Hopefully everybody's having a decent uh, Sunday so far. Uh, had two really late shifts at work and I wasn't out the door till 10 o'clock the last two nights. So I get home last night I'm dead ass tired and I didn't notice somebody changed the schedule without telling me, so I wasn't supposed to be in today anymore, but I thought I'd be in early after staying late, so my tired ass like wakes up and dutifully gets ready to go to work, show up there, and everybody's confused, why are you here? And it's like, shit. I could have stayed at home, and I didn't know it. I could have slept in. So I woke up from a nap and decided to do this. usually works though usually I stream after I wake up it's what I do on weekdays when I do those streams I wake up have a quick drink of water to wet my mouth and then I rock and roll Very, very boring to watch. This is the entire point of this game is you legally haul cargo with a semi truck down the road. I decided I want to play. Maybe it'd be fun to take you guys along with me, so here we are. Decided to stream one of my Sunday video game sessions. American Truck Simulator is like a 120 scale if I remember correctly so we're going to be driving for a little bit to do this long route into Oregon from Tucson, Arizona. And depending on how long this drive takes, maybe we'll see if we can steer ourselves towards Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. That's where home in my primary garage is and we haven't been in Idaho for quite a while we we're coming up on Phoenix now exits for the uh, Sky Harbor International Airport. Go straight on. We are looking for... No, oh, we should be on the 10 already. And yeah, so we're going to follow the 10. Keep left into California and then in Los Angeles we take the northbound all the way up through into Oregon
That should be our route. a little bit of nicotine in here. Keep left. They would drive ahead of us. Really wish I could turn on the uh, in-game radio that uh, streams internet radio stations, but. That's like a hundred copyright claims waiting to happen over the course of a live stream. Fucking whole thing will be muted so you guys wouldn't hear me, you wouldn't hear this nice truck. You wouldn't be able to hear me roll down the windows and hit this air horn that sounds like a train. Put those back up so you can hear me a little better. It's it kind of loud with the windows down. The ceiling, the little oscillating floor fan there wasn't blowing right on me. It's kind of chilly now. Dang on, I got it. That solves the uh, fan issue. We busted out the old old logo of the trucking hoodie from before the uh, rebrand in the summer of their logos. I have a cord wrapped around my arm of my chair. It looks like it spun everything on me. Trucking hoodie. Now that I'm 
Sees on my own time, but just really missed Viva. It was my first BTC I was in, and I rose to a staff role, and I was one of their community associates. I was managing a division, doing, uh, helping out in all the shit that makes being in one of their specialty cargo divisions fun. So. bunch of new faces there. It was going to be fun to start over as a new driver and go through the process and be with Vivo once again. chair wasn't broken so I can actually fully lean back in it. But one day it decided that the hinge just clunk and it wants to sit upright so any small amount of pressure on it will mess it up. So I can lean back just enough to feel that lumbar support but if I sit all the way back the whole chair is going to fall backwards like that on me. Should have bought a new chair at some point, but I didn't. It's so cheap, I keep sitting in the same broken chair, so it's gonna be uncomfortable to sit upright like this and drive all the time. straight on. Stream's looking okay. This is the first time since like January I've tried streaming American Truck Simulator, and it's the first time since I switched over to OBS that I've tried using the uh, American Truck Simulator. So hopefully, things are running smoothly for everyone.
traffic slowed down, says the speed limit's 55, so we must have entered California. Let's just hit the uh, brake here. Bring it down, drop it to 55. Right, we're still going slightly faster than traffic up ahead, so we'll just hold where we're at for now and hang out in this left lane for a little bit. probably won't get us if we speed up just a little bit. Yes, how's it going, man? This guy even has the wheel. I have a shifter right here, too, but never did learn how to uh, do the whole aid shifting thing, and I really like this Freightliner, and most of them are automatic anyway, so... We just have it set simple automatic, so forward is in gear, back is reverse, middle is neutral position. Works out just fine for this truck, and my lack of skill with an H shifter. Yeah, who needs to shift? We just entered California. We're doing a bit of a longer haul from Tucson, Arizona to... I think it said we were going to Astoria, which is in Oregon on the border to Washington, so it's going to be a little bit of a drive yet ahead of us. How's your day going, my man? slow day for me. I was work late last night and I thought I was supposed to be there early in the morning to open but somebody changed the schedule and didn't tell me so I showed up and our shift leader for the day she was confused. I was at the door pounding waiting for her to let me in like what are you doing here at this hour and it's like I have my backpack with all my stuff. I'm supposed to work today. I'm opening with you. It's like no you're not. You're not on the schedule. It's like I wasn't on the schedule, so I wish I could have stayed home. Oh yeah, it's a win. I have an unexpected day off. I just wish I could have used it to sleep in. I knew ahead of time that my manager changed the schedule on us. But it was only for like three hours more to be there. It's like a third wheel to help out. And after being early and late the last couple of nights, like I didn't get home till almost 11 last night, so I mean, I've made up three hours just being there so much to work anyway, so I took a nap and now we're playing a game. Go straight on. streams running smooth for you right I haven't played this game in months and this is the first time since I switched over on streaming programs that I started playing American Truck Simulator so this is the first run on it that's good to know thanks for letting me know would have hated to like look back and it was all choppy and crappy looking and you couldn't hear me or some stupid reason so Pretty nice to sit down and play this game again. I used to play it all the time, and in January when I started streaming, and this was what I was playing at first. So the first like month, I was basically doing this, and then about February I took a break, and I just wanted to get this whole Freightliner back on the road again and do some driving on here. So. Yeah, 
is starting to get dark though, so I'm thinking. Not opposed to night driving, but I don't prefer it over day driving because you can't see what's interesting. I guess sleepy watching, I used to watch my dad deliver. Cool. I've never actually even been inside one of these trucks. Like, but you know how the movies make it, they give this like romanticized image of oh it's so cool and free to be a truck driver, so never been in a truck, but as soon as Euro Truck Simulator 2 came out, I really, really wanted it. And then this came out, now I'm driving in my country with the trucks I'm familiar with, which is even better. Yeah, it's really not as great as it's made out to, uh, like there are a couple of truck vloggers that I like on YouTube that I watch and it's a lot of driving, a lot of rough hours, a lot of not being at home, a lot of tight deadlines to make. It's not as great as the movies in this video game make it look it seems. I'm a homebody and I don't like be I don't like being in the car going to the store that makes me feel claustrophobic that's why I walk to work and don't own a vehicle so I'm totally fine with sitting on the uh, sitting on the computer with this uh, Logitech wheel here and just doing this Probably the best. I'm not familiar with that one, but I have seen Smokey and the Bandit, and I know a lot of people. I thought it was an okay movie, Keep but a lot of people really like Smokey and the Bandit, so I'm sure some of them might dis disagree with you. Oh shit! I got a. Uh... Throwing a detour on us. They got the road blocked for some reason, so we're gonna have to deviate from the route. Okay, let's find a new route. More iconic than God. Oh, more iconic than good. Yeah, Burt Reynolds is pretty great. I'm really only familiar with him from the uh, Smokey and the Bandit movie, but he, he is a pretty good actor, so I really want to see some more Burt Reynolds sometime. I'll have to get online and look around for some movies to watch of him. Down on me, buddy, are ya? So going towards San Diego now. So we're, what are they doing with us? What's our route we're taking? Oh yeah, we have to loop through San Diego and take the five from there through instead of Los Angeles. So that adds several hours to your thing. Oh, you can't really judge that. I mean, so does Charlie Sheen. And everybody likes Charlie Sheen. I mean, I think Charlie Sheen's okay. Just okay. I don't think about it. Is there any show Charlie Sheen has been in where his character wasn't named Charlie? Yeah, I'm 
minus the drugs and abuse charges. This will be fun, night drive through Southern California. I think since we're adding so much time to the trip and how oh, fatigue simulation is off anyway, because I don't care about that, I just want to drive. So we're probably just going to drive through the night. to Astoria when we get to Astoria. This is our truck by the way, it's the uh, Freightliner Cascadia with the uh, Viva trucking skin. That's what we're taking out on the road today. Yeah, it, yeah, it's got the uh, sleeper cab. I've got the uh, interior customization, cool shit, add stuff. When I uh. When there's a safe spot to pull over, I'll spin the camera that way. And I'll show you what the inside looks like. I guess the real question is, how are the bunks even comfortable? Cause it would suck to go from y'all you know, bouncing around on a rough road to sleeping on a lumpy ass bed. Right. Oh, somebody's car got a little bit fucked up. Doesn't really look like one of those walk away from it kind of accidents. to the San Diego exit. Looking down at the GPS, it looks like that's the exit we're taking. Keep right and then turn right. And we have Karen who gets me lost in Colorado right. telling me how to drive and where to go. Keep right. Kind of nags you like a manager, like I want. Well, kind of nags you like one of those "I want to see your manager" kind of voices to me. So the uh, voice navigation system is nicknamed Karen. Half a tank. It, there was a fan night drive, and we have half a tank, so we're gonna have to refuel it to complete our route anyway. So 
Might as well see if we can see a nice little spot. Oh, I'm speeding way too fucking fast. Coasted down to 55 because we're in California, not everywhere else in the map. I'm trying to go a little faster than that. You know, if we see a rest stop, we'll uh, swing in, grab some fuel, and we'll swing that camera around and show off the uh, sleeper and how I have it customized. See, nothing off to our right, looking at the GPS. that lane Keep actually right. oh we need to hold that lane the turn feels like I was going a little fast to be doing something like that did not really like how that thing wanted to try and turn and react to that Yourselves up, Mr. Stupid. I'll just change lanes and go right past you. No, there's no wind simulation. They're really awesome and detailed about everything else, but there's no wind in this game. There's like a wind sound effect if I roll the windows down. Well, that's about the best you can get. There's no actual wind blowing this thing around. those back up so it's easier to hear me and not be a truck. It'd be cool if they threw in some wind simulation though. Right now really the only real concern you got is don't turn this heavy bitch too hard make it want to lean on you. Not that I have any trouble with these things, because they're so long and heavy. Zero Truck Simulator, where those shorter, really narrow, really top-heavy cab overs, those are the ones that I can take a turn too fast in and turn over. Here's Carlsbad. Keep left. So we've got a gas station right here we can go to and take this exit. Finding a new route. Go straight on. This way. Reroute. Turn. Yeah, right. exactly. One last thing to worry about. Yeah, got enough to worry about trying to control a trailer when I don't even have a normal driving license. Got enough to worry about taking managing speed on windy roads and not breaking anything so if I don't have to worry about wind that's okay with me oh it stuttered because it was saving hasn't done that in a while
Well, this is my uh, cabin with the uh, accessories, interior thingy. We got our little doggy, our hanging uh, dream catcher that's there. Water bottles. Flag blanket, a little truck, yeah, pillow. Wall cap and stickers on here. Honestly, it's a pretty nice truck. I really like the Cascadia. And I was so excited because I wanted a Cascadia like day one. My, uh, I always like the look of those older, uh, uh, freight liners driving down the road when I was younger and I really wanted some kind of a freight liner and then they gave us this All right, let's uh, fuel this thing up we got a bit of driving yet to do so our tank is full but I was only half full anyway we just don't want to worry about it down the line if we don't have to. Let's get this thing started up. Since we don't have fatigue simulation on and we're driving way more hours per day than you're supposed to anyway, we can afford to get some sleep and uh, not do a night drive. I'll we'll just find a spot and we'll pull in over here next to this guy here. Like he's got a, uh... oh, that's a Kenworth. And I guess I really only ever drive the older ones. I didn't recognize the little side air intake on the hood. Alright. This all fired back up. I got a nice daytime view of the uh, Freightliner. with me trailer turn no, turn the way I want you to oh backing this thing up will be fun when we get to the dock I can't even back it up quite the way I want to in a parking lot that's how long it's been since I've played now we should miss that guy yeah we're fine So we haven't broken anything yet, that's what matters. No, I don't want to go left, we're gonna go right. Or, sorry, I don't want to go right. We're going left, directly back to the highway. We're not going through Carlsbad unnecessarily. This is more time on the route. Find a new route. I chose the route, and you're choosing to go along with it. I know exactly where I'm going without your intervention, Turn Karen. Alright, let's let this guy go through. Should be able to, uh, 
As long as he keeps turning like he is and gives us the space we need, we should be okay right, right here. Right. Turn right. Yeah, there we go. for the fun part. We have a full tank of gas. Straight shot down the 5. Now we just lock cruise control at 55 and stay on the highway forever. It's going to be the longest and most boring part of the route is the uh, reduced speed limit in California and the really long stretch of we don't have to leave this highway from Los Angeles, well now San Diego because we routed to San Diego until we end up near our destination in Oregon so I mean once we hit Oregon we can speed up I think it's like 65 in Oregon but the slowest section of interstate in the game and we're going to be on it for most of the length of the interstate. Just under the speed, it says the outside temperature on the little temperature gauge thing is 96 degrees. Here I was thinking, looks like a nice day to uh, just roll the windows down and have that nice ocean smell of water and smog and noise pollution coming through your window. But it looks like the perfect day to keep the fucking AC on and keep the window up kind of toasty outside in Los Angeles today. This long stretch of straight road right here, man, this is uh, perfect. Like, I wish I could use the uh, 
and game radio and stream music kind of shit, but streaming some radio station off the internet is just asking for like a hundred different record companies to send copyrights this way for playing their music. When I'm doing this on my own time, there's definitely some classic rock playing in the background while I'm driving. Said slow vehicles use the right lane, but I guess they're not giving us room. Oh, right, we have room. We can slip in, and we'll let the uh, regular old cars take the uh, faster. They'll take the left side. They can go faster up this than we can, and we'll just hang out on the slow lane while we climb this mountain, and our speed limit drops down into the. Uh, ooh. Somebody's having a bad day over there. this lane they can go faster past us and it's not a really it's not a really long strip of this so here soon we'll be off of these mountains and we'll be back at highway speeds now we're starting to coast down now so just uh and easy. Keep left. We start picking up too much speed. That's what our uh, brakes are for. engine brake to help us there at the end, but we were okay, we're through it. Looks like we're going a little faster than the uh, traffic ahead of us at the moment, so we'll hang out here in the center lane for a couple of minutes while we see what they do, if they want to speed up or whatnot. Keep right, and then turn right. Oh shit, I need that exit. Pass a soccer mom. I need to sneak this thing in right behind your van. That's where we're going. Oh shit, that's a two lane. I could have just held speed and kept going if I remembered that. But I didn't remember that because I don't go to California that often in this game. And I need to play this game in like four months anyway.
Oh, now we're through the uh, weaving around the mountain because now it's back to holding our cruise control and just making our way down the uh, five. slowly gaining on that track ahead of us and we have this hill so and we have that hill so we just might be catching up with them here soon just be ready to put some brake on or see if we can change lanes if we need to because this truck's able to hold the speed we've got with the load that we have. It's only 31,000 pounds and we haven't been prompted to scale at a way station yet so I don't know what our gross weight is but this truck's able to handle what we have on board just fine. Are we looking on our route? We got uh, 17 miles, 17 hours, sorry, of driving. So they're saying our expected by Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. If we don't stop and we drive right through the night, GPS is saying we should be there just before 8 on Tuesday morning. Alright, so if we didn't want to drive through the night, we can afford to uh, rest, it looks like. I've got quite a ways of uh, driving to go before we get to dark. It's, it's only just about 3 o'clock on the... Uh, I can, actually, you can see that. It's right by... Oh, there you go, pulling for inspection. I was just saying how we hadn't been inspected yet. But you're not going to see the uh, little clock radio thingy to the right of the GPS. The uh, camera is going to be obstructing that. Recomputing. Alright, let's uh, pull in for our hour inspection. Gross weight is 64,000. My vehicle's not perfect technical. Oh, that's that's all tire wear and stuff. I I haven't changed the tires in a bit. But my truck's not actually that damaged. Most of that is tire wear from all the driving. I mean, I do sometimes hit stuff in this game, but I haven't yet on this drive, and I probably didn't when I was last playing this really regularly, so I bet you most of that's tire wear. tires are dragging up the average for the whole chassis and engine and everything. Uh, 
is fine. We can we can service it in Astoria and take a look at it. We are roadworthy enough to continue on our way, and that's what matters. Back up to speed so we can set our cruise again. Go straight on. Here on is roughly, give or take, about halfway to San Francisco, if I'm not mistaken. But then once we get to San Francisco, we still have to uh, drive past Redding and I think Sacramento to get to the border. And then we have to cross Oregon, of course. speed limit's so slow here anyway, it's not like the other states on the map where you have to break a bit to do this. The speed limit is the highway speed here. Go straight on. GPS telling me what to do on the 5 like I don't have, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens of hours on this highway alone. Like my old primary garage used to be in Seattle, so before Idaho was added, I had to take the 5 to Go get basically on. everywhere. I've got plenty of experience driving down the five. I know where I'm going without the GPS telling me, hey, take this exit, take that exit. I can probably find my way to a story of GPS turned off. The bot hates when you spam a bunch of capitals, so... Whatever it was, put it in lowercase. 21 messages were deleted, is that... Did you send 21 messages, or... Is that just saying it's done that, like, all together, it's blocked 21 messages? Oh. Yeah. I call the GPS Karen because she nags me in a voice that reminds me of the Karens that come to work and uh... Alright so it cleared up. Oh I see because the uh, bot auto hey follow me on Twitter shit is the first message now so it cleared your entire history I get it now. I don't know that's I set up the bot because that used to annoy me getting like spam caps messages. So that's actually the first time I've seen it in work. 
We have the GPS we call Karen, not Susan, because she sounds like some of those Karens that phone up my work complaining. She nags the living fuck out of me, too. Especially when I deviate to go get gas, and it's like, turn left, turn right, make a U-turn when safe, you're going the wrong way, motherfucker. Alright, it doesn't say that, but... Go straight on. Point is, you're not allowed to stop and get gasoline, or so you're not allowed to stop and get diesel for this thing. Or the GPS goes Karen mode, turn left, turn right, I'm calling dispatch and telling you you're going the wrong way kind of shit. Let's click on the headlights real fast. Sun's starting to slowly set. It's not going to be dark for a little bit yet, but I'm horrible about forgetting to turn the headlights on until it's too late. Then the in-game cops decide they want to find me for not having my headlights on, so... Go straight on. As soon as I see the sun slowly thinking about setting, I just pop the headlights on so I don't forget. A screenshot of my truck for no reason other than to share it on Discord with the guys in Viva. So let's do that. Richen the colors up just a little bit and make it pop a little bit, look a little nicer. There we go. Totally knows my World of Trucks custom plate says Phoenix on it from my old VTC I was in after the first Viva stint. So, <laughs> whoops. And then turn right. Gotta represent, I guess. Turn right. This is like a 120 scale of, of America, or 120 scale of what's been released. So this hour and a half of driving got us from Tucson to Oakland, and we still have to come through Redding, Hornbrook, you know, Medford, Eugene, blah, 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 all the way up till we hit Astoria. So yeah, a little bit driving yet to do still. Thirteen hours of driving. Thirty-one hours to uh, get where we have to be. So we have plenty of time. We can stop and rest just after the sun sets. So we oh, we just hit twenty-five thousand miles on the odometer. Cool. Go straight on. Anyway, what was I saying before I saw that in eighty D whatever we. We have plenty of time, we can stop and rest after the sun sets and it gets too dark and we don't have to night drive if we don't have to. Which is exactly what I'm going to do because it's kind of hard to enjoy the view when you can only see right in front of you.
nice little bit of a hump, crack the windows a bit. Nice little bit of a hum, nice little hum of outside leaking in now. Unless it's too loud to hear. I do know from old streams, if I crack the window, it does get a little too loud to uh, hear me, especially when it's you know, all the way down like that, so... It's nice in the city to have the windows down. Listen to the engine when you're at lower speeds, but once you're, once you're on the highway, it gets kind of loud to have those windows down. Reminding me it can turn and react to a uh, terrain. I have one of those uh, dirt racing, dirt whichever entry I have in the series. I've never actually tried it. Uh, maybe I should give that a go one of these days and give that, give this force feedback wheel a run for its money on like a rally race or something because. I bought this wheel in January, maybe late December, no, it was early January, and I've only used it to drive this truck around. Sacramento. We are most of the way through California now. Could be a little more two hand on these particular turns, it looks like. the sun's starting to properly set. I forgot this game's weird and it sets at like 8.30 or something. Actually maybe it's not that weird. Uh, I guess when I really noticed when the sun sets it was middle of winter so it was setting early but that's now that it's summer, the sun's not actually setting till 8.30, 9 o'clock in the real world for me anyway, so... I guess if we assume it's midsummer, that's not really that weird of a sunset time. Go straight on. A bit of a pain as far as you know, you gotta make cu uh, customized resources for everything, but it'd be really nice if there were seasonal changes and weather and foliage and everything like that. We can skip this way station, we don't have to scale in a second time. I 
Probably gonna make a scale shortly after we enter Oregon since it's a new state though. Nice little hiding spot that cop had, hiding out right where those couple of bushes were next to a break in the wall. Not gonna find me breaking traffic laws though. Even on TMP with like no AI traffic and a bunch of other players who drive around like they're racing, I still follow the road laws. Generally, I say generally, I'm not always, sometimes I fuck up, I'm generally pretty safe with my cargo. It's 8.30, now the sun really wants to start setting here soon. We're probably going to look to pull over at the next way station we can find to uh, rest at. Good chance to grab another sip out of my water bottle too. Kathy Kins would be so proud of me drinking all the water I drank instead of all the soda. I'm still drinking too much soda, but I haven't had soda in like a day or two. And I'm averaging like two liters of water now. I mean, I could drink more. We're definitely doing better on the uh, drinking water in the hot uh kitchens and while I'm doing live streams and stuff I am getting thirsty too and ready to pull over and have a quick sip as soon as I can So tired of 55, I'm ready to get out of California already. And once we hit like 60, 65 in Oregon, it's gonna feel like we're flying down the road after all this. is right here so Hornbrook shouldn't be too far ahead if we don't see a place we can pull over here we can just 
definitely a truck stop in Hornbrook that I go to all the time. Cut it close, didn't you, buddy? Go straight on. Coast it a little bit and let it uh bleed off speed. Mo, give him a little bit of room to move. Give us a little bit of room to move. That's an accident waiting to happen here. We got a place we can pull over right here, coming up on the right. straight into a spot too, which is very convenient. smooth, keep it straight. There we go. Well, that's enough room to pull for and get where we gotta get. our deadline so we will definitely make our uh, delivery go straight on
you would change lanes and slow down right in front of me, would ya? I'm just gonna slow down and wait for this guy to pick up speed. change lanes and slow the entire flow of traffic on an incline I can't decide if uh oh actually it looks like this guy in the lane I'm looking at through the mirror we are picking up distance on him so probably fine to uh switch lanes without slowing traffic down because he's already slowing that whole lane down for us that you get penalized for slowing down traffic and obstructing it. I'm just really nice and considerate even though these AI guys drive like assholes anyway. Yeah, instead of making good time on my own, I'm giving way to a uh, pixelated cars and letting them use the uh, left lane to go past me. Oh, I mean, it is a simulator game. I guess I gotta simulate and pretend to be courteous even though it doesn't matter. And they drive like idiots and don't deserve courtesy anyway. Not that I'm that good of a driver, I'd give my driving skill about, a, about an 8. Yeah, definitely cross lanes a couple of times here and there trying to drive. Yeah, it can be. It, can, it definitely can be. I feel bad if I make it across the tracks and then the rails start dropping and hold up a soccer mom van and I'm like, oh, whoops. Now I feel bad. You should have gone past and not me. I'm sure you have a soccer match to go to. Or maybe you're going to go complain that your takeout wasn't cooked right. I don't know. I'm sure you've got something more important you could be doing than this. I'm just hauling a luxury item right now. And televisions are not that important. Alright, they're very important. I actually I don't even watch television, I just play video games and stuff. I would just use it like I was using this monitor here and have the computer extended over to it. You're really hard. Alright, I guess you're excused. There are cones there. Didn't realize that guy was off in the lane. Whoa! Whoop, that was a traffic cone. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, cable's worthless. Or at least the deals and how they bundle and package everything up is worthless, like... They put like one or two of each of the channels I like on each different package, so you need a really, really expensive set to get all the channels, and if you miss a package, you miss a set of channels you want to watch. Yep, now that we're in Oregon officially, we have to weigh in, so it's way more convenient for me just to fucking watch it on Hulu or whatever. Rerouting. 
turned right. Oh, that's a scale icon on the right, right there. I've never noticed that. I probably could have weighed over there. Not while we're here anyway. Loss of fuel, we're down to, actually I don't even remember what it said we're down to, but now we're still doing good. Game doesn't really track that uh, 80,000 pound limit that some cargos have, so still feels nice to know that we're uh, weighed outright anyway. No way to pump the way to pump the brakes at the last moment, dude. That was almost an impact. There we go. All right, you got room. Start going. I got room too. No cars coming that I can see. Oh, come on. We don't need to stay. Oh, I see my route advisor was saying 15, so however they drew the nodes for the uh, speed limits, they bled off into the highway a little bit there, it looks like. I guess I can't be mad at the truck for that one. He's doing what he thinks he has to do by... Oh, this little note here says we gotta do 15, so let's do 15. And then we'll speed up to 60. So besides, now that we're in Oregon, we have a good stretch of 60 miles an hour coming up, so that's 5 miles per hour that we didn't have before that we can work with. I feel like we're racing after doing so much California driving. Just a little quick stutter because it's trying to load in the town and all the trees and stuff. And I'm streaming at the same time. Usually it's not quite that pronounced. I mean, when you're on like ultra graphics with like max out resolution scaling like this. Okay, you're picking up speed. We're not gonna switch lanes here. Anyway, it can stutter a bit. I have everything maxed out. Throw in streaming, that was a little bit of a hiccup right there, waiting to render in the uh, buildings and all the trees now that we're in Oregon. speed I do remember this to be a kind of tight turn there's why I rate my driving about an eight I totally bled over into that other lane on this turn maybe my driving's closer to a seven I don't know point is I'm not a great driver I like to pretend I am
No good, he's off the highway here, so we have clear air ahead of us. We don't have to worry about cars brake checking. This game, the AI is not always bright, so sometimes they will just brake check randomly in weird spots. Or like, I mean, you get it, you're on an incline like this, a big truck loses speed, but sometimes a pickup or a van will lose speed. And they'll slow the entire flow of traffic down to like 30. Start accelerating back up to the speed limit about here. And our fuel gauge, left side of the dash, bottom right is at half a tank again, so don't need to fuel up to get where we have to be, but we definitely needed that fuel pickup that we did in California. Now our fuel's about where it was before. Hitting the rumble strip because I'm looking off to the right at the uh, stream stuff, seeing if you're posting another comment or if anyone else is. Definitely more of a uh, do it on the straightaway kind of thing, not the uh, turn. No problem, have fun with Valheim, and thanks for hanging out with me, man. I'll catch you next time I see you. Enjoy your Sunday. There we can bypass. Don't have to worry about scaling over here. Do you have to worry about our speed though? This little section here is a 55 again, and we're doing 60 still.
and now we have a 60 again. Locker cruise in and get a little bit more highway driving with the cruise on taken care of. Take this turn nice and easy. We made it too far to take turns too quickly and damage our cargo at this point. I'll lock the cruise for a moment. Fuck with my sleeves real fast. And we'll just hit our plus minus buttons on the old wheel that I have set to map our. Uh, cruise control so we can go up and down click of a button in five mile per hour increments down to 55 again. As we enter Eugene, Oregon. Three hours of driving yet to go. 169 miles. Oh, that is as far as it will go. Keep left. So once we hit Portland, that's our exit. We're exiting in Portland, and then we'll go west to hit uh, Astoria and drop off our televisions. Doing the speed limit, we're going faster than this guy. We'll just overtake him, switch back over, and then we'll hit 60 in the next lane. Welcome to Albany. Salem should be just up ahead. Sixty for cruise control, and let's carry on with our route. Oh, you 
guys are slowing way the fuck down, are ya? Yeah, at least we have the room to react and change lanes. Really should have signaled into the left turn, but I wasn't ready and I had one hand resting on the shifter, not prepared for an abrupt turn. Drop our cruise down to 55 for Salem. Let's see, a freeway speed limit through the stone. Somebody else spilled all their pipes everywhere. You guys gotta learn to fasten your shit down a little bit better. Portland, Oregon. Somewhere in Portland is where our exit should be. Keep left. And from here. We're gonna eventually cut westward until we hit Astoria. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. speed them down to 50 here it looks like so we'll do that move over to the far right lane Jinx it. I'm amazed it hasn't rained once since we got to Oregon. I'm usually passing through Oregon and Washington in like full on fucking storm. Alright, Astoria, we actually need to be in the left lane, so we're clear. We can make that uh, swerve across like that. Five zone, it looks like. Uh, I'll give us some engine brake. We're going a little crazy here. A little bit of foot brake, too. Freeway 
Athens. Looks like we are in the uh, city center now. It's loading in the area. Go straight on. Oh, there we go. Almost hit that guy, but we did. Come on. Why are you in neutral all of a sudden? little area here. These are undiscovered roads. Usually I'm cutting, yeah, I'm in Portland or I'm like cutting through Portland. This is the first time I've been towards Astoria, so you can tell looking at the uh, GPS what's yellow. It's discovered road and as I drive down the road, sections are turning yellow because I'm just now discovering them. A little darker, we'll turn on our lights just to make sure there's no excuse that our big ass truck ain't seen driving down the road and somebody hits us. never yield like I thought you just went right in front so that's why we really hit the brakes and gave way to him just to ensure he didn't hit us and they have hit me before refusing to yield like in situations where you think I had right away I have been broadsided by a car before because they didn't recognize a point where they should be yielding at. They just merge in regardless of what traffic's already there. Alright, Astoria discovered. Now we just have to figure out where they want us to set down this trailer. Go straight on. That was a really short yellow. I mean, I was going to stop at the yellow anyway, but 
That was still a really short yellow. speed limit here. A little inconvenient to be a uh, peg for a speeding ticket right outside the depot we're dropping at. It's pulsing on the GPS just to the left of my camera so it looks like our spot Go should be on. here up on the right where we're dropping. Point thingy that was the pop up behind there. Like, they used one viewpoint in Idaho when they were created just to check them out, but I've never consistently looked at the viewpoints. I just really don't care. Alright, so that's not our turn. We want to go farther on, it looks like. Keep right and then turn right. At this point, I'm glad I have the GPS telling Turn me right. when I should be turning, because these are roads I am not familiar with. Oh, a little bit of a sidewalk with the trailer Get there. I didn't swing it quite hard enough. Turn left. Where they want it? They just want it uh, straight into the side, it looks like. They don't want us to park it you at the dock. You have arrived at your destination. Your route guidance is now finished. I have it set for random parking, so I don't choose if it's a hard drop or an easy drop. I just accept whatever drop I'm given, and I park it where they want it parked. And today, they're gonna go easy on us for our first drive in this truck in a couple of months, and we just have to, uh, straighten out and get it in this line right here. Oops. Bring it back. Just straighten it out just a little bit better. Where are we looking like and why aren't you happy with it? Oh, we're just a little off the line, okay. up a little closer to these pallets that should make us fully straight. Yeah, there we go. Spin the uh, truck a little bit and see how tight can we get this to the uh, line that we were given. enough that they're happy with it so let's unload our cargo oops didn't mean to hit that screenshot button oh we can level up I did mean to hit that screenshot button though but we have max skills anyway so there's nothing we can level up Here, to, is there like a rest stop or something we can park at? We got a rest stop right there. But actually, honestly, I can't really be bothered. We're totally fine just parking the trailer here. 
which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to park it here, get off the game. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I will be back at it tomorrow morning, as usual, for Rising Star 2, and I'll catch you all later.